Uh, good evening. Uh, the real question confronting uh, the Utilities Commission this evening is what is the best way to ensure that future energy demand is met in a manner that's most economical and in a way that best serves the public interest in Western North Carolina. Duke Energy's proposal to build two or more centralized natural gas, uh, natural gas fired units in Western North Carolina is short sighted. The rationale is that natural gas burns more cleanly than coal and is currently far less expensive. But this fails to take into account the entire fuel cycle that's not favorable to natural gas due to its impact on the environment. Natural gas is relatively inexpensive right now because the regulatory process nationwide hasn't caught up to the environmental damage caused by fracking and storage, such as thousands of small earthquakes in Oklahoma and Ohio, severe water contamination and severe air pollution, including a devastating increase in greenhouse gas production from the leakage of raw methane gas from the extraction process. As we speak at the Porter Ranch storage facility in California, there's an estimated 100,000 pounds of methane pouring into the atmosphere every hour. And I, I want to um, just expand on that a little bit. That gas leak at the Porter Ranch storage facility was ignored by the regulatory agencies in California for weeks and the government didn't act on it for months and the only reason it came to light was because of the number of hospital visits that were taking place in a very highly populated area um, where children were coming in with nosebleeds and nausea and it and we have to all wonder uh, how many other gas leaks there are thousands of these facilities throughout the country uh, are leaking and aren't being reported because they're not in as highly populated areas, they're not being detected. Equally uh, important as an issue with Duke Energy's proposed new power plants is the investment they represent at this point in time in new infrastructure meant to perpetuate a highly centralized system of energy production that ignores the climate crisis and the transition that's needed toward energy efficiency and renewable energy technologies. This needs to be the moment when we recognize an opportunity for a major transitional decision. We need to now realize and understand that Duke Energy's business model and North Carolina's public utility system of regulated monopoly is antiquated, obsolete, and an obstacle to addressing climate change on a scale necessary to preserve the world for future generations. We need to move quickly to adopting policies that will ease the way for decentralizing the utility industry while incentivizing investment in energy efficiency and rooftop solar energy systems. We need to end Duke Energy's monopoly on selling energy in North Carolina and open up the market to third party sales of solar produced power as we implement the programs outlined in the proposed efficient and affordable energy rates bill, which is Senate Bill 483 and House Bill 377. And that would be the decision of the Utilities Commission if it were to fulfill its mandate of providing for future energy demand in the most cost-effective and beneficial way for the public interest. Thank you.